Last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Goku and his friends encountered the two androids, while later Goku himself ended up with a fatal heart virus. And now Dr. Jiro would end up waking up Android 17 and 18, and that's all I can say. I don't know what else to add here. What is up my homies? It's your boy the Gelinator. Welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. <laughs> now, since we already know what right, happened last time, and think it's about time we go ahead and continue on with the story. So if Androids 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Jiro built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. It's close. Yep. What just happened? How dare you? I created you! You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order! Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one! What in the world is going on in there? Let's go! I feel a lot better now. Hey. What's that? Hey. I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier mom. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks. Can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? All except one. Y yeah. But uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. Exactly. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Your funeral. Wait. Where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> well, at least you did us a favor. I'll give you that. All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. What is it? What is it with the androids just wanting to kill Goku? I mean, I get he, I get he got rid of the Red Ribbon Army and all that, but can't you like do something that doesn't involve killing Goku and not world domination? Seriously, it's stuff like that's been getting on my nerves. And the crazy thing is, they came back again in the su in the superhero saga. You know, with Gamma One, Gamma Two, Cell Max, and all that bull crap. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! The whole vengeance thing, yeah. It's kind of cliche. I couldn't give a damn about that! How dare they! How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Big headed as always, Vegeta. Oh, yeah, Big Kakarot! Ha, don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen, because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. 
Finally, someone gets it. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Oh, she's gonna break his arm like in the anime, isn't she? Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still. Just watching isn't much fun. I guess... I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Huh? So what are you, a bigot? Though I guess since you're an android, you're not really a woman. You what? Okay, now, yeah, you really are a bigot. My god, Vegeta. You can bring your pack, wow. dang. But you kind of do it for a second, dang. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal, either of you. I'm the principal of science! Don't underestimate me! Looks like you're running out of steam. I guess I better put you out of your misery. Shut the hell up! Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman! Now you've done it! Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Oh! Bruh. Uh-huh. And there's the arm. Bruh. What? Bruh. Dang. Bruh. How, though? <laughs> Don't, Don't worry. worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. I like how you're not gonna actually fight them. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey, wait, wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're going to take care of Goku. Okay. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean... Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. But even if you get rid of Goku, we gonna do next? Just sit and chill? Watch the game? Yeah. I don't know. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> Excuse me, why? See ya. Lord have mercy, I'm about to. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. Pretty much. Ah, <laughs> uh, typical Vegeta. Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan, regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Cause he sucks. He's not him. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, 
So, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Trunks, we already know- we already know that's your dad, so don't try to hide it. Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Well, Trunks, this is your fault. You shouldn't have went back to the past kill freeze in the first place. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good. All right. It's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in! Well, at least Chi Chi understands. Thank God. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. Oh my god, how does he know? So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. I don't think they ever met Chi Chi. I never watched the anime, so I don't know. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. Uh-oh. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. I think I know who that is. Well, we all know. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location. 
location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. Bulma, no. Stay where you are. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? Yeah, Gohan's a better option. Of course. Thank you. Gohan. Oh, no. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Chi Chi, we really need to talk about you worrying about your son trying to do trying to do what he want trying to do what he wants to do. Like, can you let can you let your son be just like his dad for once? Like, sure, he can have some smarts, but at least let him be strong like his dad. How is he gonna protect his own family when his father's not around? You know, all right, you know what, Chi Chi? You know what? I'm just gonna come out and say it. If your son, if your son ends up being weak. And no, I'm not talking about a future saga later on. But, but, if he ends up weak again, especially after the super the superhero movie with Cell Max, this is gonna be your fault. Is that also a red flag? Crimson. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Ah, it's okay. I'm okay, I get it now. <sighs> Wait. What's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. What's what? Uh, what oh! What is it? Oh, I think I know what that is. It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's... What was inside the egg we found in the time machine? Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Who doesn't? I mean, Boma, you talk too much. Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up.
Kami look down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo, were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well... Your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. Well, what? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for oh, this okay. fusion? Okay, so it repeats itself. Nonsense. Now is the time. Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? It's a choice we have to take. The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. I mean, it happened before when we fought Raditz. Well, not just Raditz, but, but when we fought, um... When we first fought Vegeta and Nappa. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Hey, yo, phrasing. Uh, call me, Mr. Popo. Don't even speak like. Don't give me. Don't give me that. Call me. Don't give me that talk. I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. 
Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Oh, call me. Like, shut up. Well, Kami, <laughs> please don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right, I'm off. All right, monster, you're in trouble. <sighs> oh. Man, look at this. Mm, now this is more like it. All the clothes got all the people's clothes gone. Look at that. He oh, heels, dresses, tuxedos, and loafers all over the floor. And everybody's jeans on the floor too. That ain't cool. Who could possibly have done this? I see him right there too. Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature. And Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal. Demon King Piccolo. Yep. <laughs> How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. Piccolo! And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Sorry, Piccolo, I guess. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> Let me show you the power of a true Namekian warrior. Uh, I you're attacking people to achieve your perfect form? Indeed. I turn their essence Oh, we killed my mom too! What? And that energy makes me stronger. <laughs> and who do you think you are, pal? You're not freaking Taskmaster. You can't just tell people like that. Special, who sent you here? Who used the time machine for this? Tell me. Send ah, me here. Ah, Why ah, that ah, would be ah, yours, ah, truly. I came up with a plan in order to fit inside that tiny machine. All it took was for me to revert myself back into an egg. Okay, the great. I can't see. Go ahead, take it all, take it all. I don't care. But I do have a plan in mind. And it's called... The Explosion Oh my god! Dude! I get it! Let me attack you already! Stop doing that dumb move! No! Oh my freaking god! Stop! All right, come here. Come here. Keep doing that dumb move. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. I hate how the attack has an awkward range. Go down already. Don't you? Oh my freaking! Why do you love doing that? Go down already. Jesus Christ! Ugh. Keep draining my health. You already at low health. <clears throat> Just what the hell are you? Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? 
Of course. Long ago, Dr. Giroux gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet hmm okay that explains that's why he's called cell that makes sense using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by dr. Giro. again with the stupid spy bot thing the computer already has enough cells to begin its research but the process is slow and it will take 24 years to complete Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giroux's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giroux's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. <laughs> But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Drunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. Again? <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well. But know this, Androids 17 and 18 will be mine. So they flare! <clears throat> Oh, of course. No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn. I can't get a trace on him. You can sense his key, remember? Oh, great. Vegeta. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it. But the other one still remains. What is the meaning of this? Oh. Oh, I know where this is going. Okay, what the hell am I sensing? Is that the Namekian? Is that me? Is that me stronger than me? I'll kill me! Talk. What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. 
Hey, Vegeta, do you really think you own hype that much? I am the hype! So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the android. Do what? Vegeta! I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? We're not underestimating, we're just stating facts, you idiot! I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan! Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. Well, I think that's all we can do for this episode. Okay, let me wait and see if there's any other dialogue before I continue on. Before I start doing my outro, because no in this game. No? We're good? Okay then, so, now, <clears throat> so everything we've done so far, well, I'm not gonna do, uh, um, what you call it, I'm not gonna try to, like, explain everything that happened, you've seen everything, so, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my outro, as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching, zap that like button and subscribe, ignore the dislike button. Leave a comment below telling you I think of this video, this game, this entire let's play. Click on the notification bell to check for more videos, if you can't with more, always check out my old ones. This is Jolly Nair signing out, peace out my homies. And when you time travel, don't screw up the timeline. It only makes things worse for you and for everyone else that you know.